Kinyanjui, the Prime Minister, Baba, who's with us here, and all the uh, protocols observed, not forgetting my speaker, Lusaka, and my majority leader, Pogisho. Mine is just to say a few words to say that, yes, we grew up all our lives in Nakuru. So today is a very proud and an ecstatic day for us, Wakazi Wapa, Nakuru. Secondly, there will be now economic prosperity with this new status under the wide, obviously, leadership of our governor, Lee Kenyanjui. And I'd like to ask you to take advantage of the natural resources that you have, and now especially that you have geothermal in bringing in industrial parks, and the problem of the water so shortage here in um, Nakuru will be solved by exactly that resource you have in uh, Meningai. Last, as I uh, finish, is that Nakuru is the home, as Arama said, is the home of 42 tribes. And they've been here, and they've been peaceful. My prayer, as you go, as you get now the status which you've got, and we want to keep that peace. Even when we come now to 2022, Tafadhali wakazi wa Nakuru County, tukai kwa utulivu, tukai kama kituki, kimoja. Naona njua ile njia tunaenda. Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Asante. Asante sana Senator Gideon Moy and also our neighbor Senator just here in Baringo. Aya, naomba sasa kwa sababu mambo inaendelea vizuri kama vile nimewatajia Senate is one of the most important institutions in this journey. And we are honored to have our speaker Kenneth Lusaka who has come together with his majority. So on behalf of the Senate, allow me to invite Kenneth Lusaka to address us. Thank you, sir.